And now, the general weather around Alaska. All right, up first here, hazardous weather graphics. Still have a couple areas with flood watches out here from Dillingham on up into the southern Kuskokwim Valley. Also up here to the uh, north from the western Koyukuk Valley, across the Kobuk Valley, and in along the southern slopes of the western Brooks Range, and looks like into the Noatak Valley as well. And then farther to the north, red area signifying a winter storm warning out for tonight and early tomorrow there for the Brooks Range for heavy snow, winter weather advisory for a stretch of the eastern Arctic coast there for the basically the same conditions. And a wind advisory continues here for the eastern Alaska range for winds gusting to 60 miles per hour. And from there, we'll look at uh, fire danger for grass, all the rain occurring back to the west, north and southwest here, making for low fire danger, but lack of precipitation, some breezy conditions. At least for grass, we're looking at a quite an area of very high fire danger here from roughly Eagle southward to the Eastern Brooks Range and into the Copper River Basin. For spruce, a much smaller area for spruce there, but still some very high fire dangers there on the lee side of the Eastern Alaska Range. And the satellite imagery here showing moisture and surges of moisture and clouds continuing to move northeastward now, pushing a little farther to the east than they were yesterday. And uh, low pressure here, one low tracking up into the western interior, improving behind that. Next big storm here tracking northward, and that's going to pull right into northeast Bristol Bay tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon, bring some strong winds in across the um, Anchorage area. In fact, there's a high wind warning out for late tonight uh, into tomorrow for Anchorage, Anchorage Hillside, Eastern Turnagain Arm, up to Eagle River. For possible wind gusts as high as 70 miles an hour as this uh, storm system tracks northward. Otherwise, a real nice day over the southeast coast. The temperature is well into the 70s. In fact, some lower 80s showing up down to the south. And out over the uh, west here, a uh, weak system right through here. And then you can see the cloud shield associated with the next system just barely coming onto the chart. And moving on to the forecast for tonight, here's that low tracking up across the Alaska Peninsula after midnight tonight with the main frontal boundary staying out here to the west. Good south to north flow on the east side of that front uh, and the strong winds there, Kodiak Island, western gulf up across the Kenai Peninsula will be on the increase tonight. Again, with the uh, high wind warning kicking in for the Anchorage area after midnight tonight, continuing through uh, at least a portion of the day tomorrow. Stays dry in the eastern interior, but a lot more clouds and uh, some rain and snow for the Brooks Range, possibly out to the eastern Arctic coast there. Dry with light winds continues over the southeast coast with uh, good high pressure holding just off the coast at the surface. And that continues into Thursday as well. Temperatures back into the 70s down in that area. Strong winds, rain heavy at times here for uh, North Gulf Coast, especially the uh, Southern Kenai Peninsula and stays wet over Kodiak Island as that whole shift system shifts eastward. The winds will start to diminish there. Lighter winds behind the front, but it's pretty wet conditions extending westward here out to the Kuskokwim Mountains. West of the mountains, Yukon Kuskokwim Delta breaking out a little bit there, maybe some clearing and some diminishing shower activities. In other words, much drier and uh, wet up to the north, Koyukuk Valley westward out to uh, Kotzebue and uh, areas of rain and snow for the Arctic coast. A break with higher pressure here out over the Bering Sea and then a big storm coming into the west there with gale force winds and a good shot of rain pushing well into the western Aleutians. And for Friday, that continues to push eastward here. Gale force winds, rain spreading into Unmak Island up toward the Perbolofs during the afternoon hours with uh, pretty strong winds there for Adak and Atka ahead of that front becoming more southwesterly and diminishing after the front pushes through. The interior here in advance of this storm, high pressure building in. So pretty nice day here over the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta down to Bristol Bay and the Kuskokwim Valley there with maybe some clearing. Definitely clearing there in Bristol Bay, Kodiak Island, and as this system pushes eastward and northward, they'll finally push uh, some good rain into the Copper River Basin, gusty winds and uh, rain into the eastern interior that continues back to the west-northwest across all the Brooks Range into the north slope there. And the southeast coast uh, stays nice. Another sunny day coming up both uh, Friday 
And Saturday, mostly sunny skies down there, definitely dry conditions, no rain in sight there for a couple of three days, at least into the start of the weekend. And this area of high pressure shifts eastward, a nice sunny day here for South Central Alaska. Northward there to around Denali Park into the eastern interior, pretty good conditions. And then this system coming in from the west brings uh, again wind and rain again into the southwest part of the state there mostly about uh, say dillingham westward and northward with the heaviest rain and that'll extend down to the alaska peninsula there and then warm front rain spreading across the seward peninsula throughout the afternoon some showers on the western arctic coast an enhanced area of showers with this trough swinging under the main low center there into the eastern aleutians and for the lows tonight, 30s from the Brooks Range out to the Arctic coast, 40s and 50s elsewhere, mainly 40s out over the Bering Sea and 50s, uh, upper 50s for the southern Panhandle. And the highs tomorrow, upper 60s, the lower 70s here for the uh, Tanana Valley, Fort Yukon area right on down toward Token Northway. And 75 to 80 over the southern Panhandle, 70, 65 to 70. To the north, lower 60s Kodiak, upper 50s and lower 60s South Central Alaska. Highs in the 30s for the north slope in the Arctic coast, lower 40 St. Lawrence Island, 50s for the Bering Sea and the Aleutians. Lows, 30s again now from the uh, Kobuk Valley out to the Arctic coast and 40s and 50s for the remainder of the state. Could be some upper 30s here over the uh, lower Yukon River Valley areas if you get the clearing. Lower 40s for Bristol Bay. 50s again for the Panhandle. And the highs, a little cooler now, mid 70s over the southern southeast coast, but still pretty nice there with highs well into the 70s and 60s, mid to upper 60s for the eastern interior, mid to upper 40s out here to the west, and temperatures are covering a little bit up over the north slope in the Arctic coast, back into the 40s there. Upper 50s to near 60 for south central Alaska to Kodiak Island.